Hello, welcome to Sir Style Learning Channel. Today I'm going to talk about demo one, how to configure dashboard into application on the back end, like this one. On the instance, I create new applications. A demo two next week, I'm going to talk about how to configure dashboard into the service portal. In the demo one, and I had two approaches. First one, I'm going to use dashboard to configure dashboard into new application. Second one, I'm going to use favorite to configure dashboard. I have service and learning channel. There are a lot of good videos in my channel. Teams integrations, how to do a workspace agent, a um, lot of good stuff. If you subscribe, you can review all the videos. In addition, you will receive coming videos for demo too. Let's begin the demo. First, log into your personal instance. Uh, in the personal instance, I am going to create two new modules. Instance, on the instance, I create two modules for the testing. Why is a test one dashboard configure? Why is called uh, test two dashboard configure? First one is use you know a dashboard sysid. Uh, second one I'm going to use a favored and to configure the in the second dashboard. Okay, after you create two new modules, and let's go to dashboard module to pick up. Dashboard we like to configure. This dashboard. You see under self service application, you have dashboard. Let's go to the dashboard. Uh, yeah, I can pick up this one called instant trimming. Uh, let's open this dashboard first. And I'm going to uh, use the URL and pick up some sysid. And you can see on the top. Uh, it's very important you have URI equals, uh, I, you know, this pref and the parameter is very important, you know, dollar uh, PA underscore dashboard dot do, and uh, you have sys palm underscore dash, dashboard, then you call ID. Um, I will show you, this is very important, you know, you know prefix, I, I can tell how to do that later. Uh, first, I'm grab the ID. Uh, let's do the ID first. You can see from other D, make sure 3D, it, don't pick up three, uh, the 3D, just go here. Let me see, I can grab him here. Yeah, control copy. Yeah, I'm copied. And after copy, let's go to a new module I created, the first one. You can see the test dashboard configure. I'm going to uh, click add module. Uh, in the add module, you need to select first, you know, link type is URL from arguments. I just mentioned in the top, you know, the, the parameter. And this is very important. I just mentioned, you know, you make sure, you know, you have a dollar sign pa underscore dashboard dot do question mark and sys pump dash dashboard. This is the basically ask for dashboard sys id. Then I just uh, put the sys id here. Um, that, that's you know saves the record. And if I click this module, suppose the dashboard, uh, we just select you know dashboard id. So the dashboard should, should be displayed. Yeah, you can see the instant printing dashboard is displayed. It's a pretty easy way and use a you know, dashboard ID. Second one, uh, second one, I'm going to demo how to use a favorite as another way. Uh, basically, let's go to a dashboard module again, uh, here. Yeah, let me use the same uh, 
instance, yeah. Then when dashboard is displayed, you come to here and call create favor. You can see dashboard has create add to the favor. And uh, yeah, it's add to here already, but I'm going to go to find the a link. Basically, we, you know, the favor is added as a link into the bookmark module. That's why you need type of bookmark and then come to click bookmark, you can see uh, this instant premium dash will be added. Open this record. And uh, you can see URL. I'm going to just copy whole URL. And go back to this application. I go to test two, add a module. And for the link type, right, that's list a record. I'm going to change to URL from argument. I'm going to paste the link here. You can say paste the link. Save the record. Okay, if I click paste to dashboard configure, that'll be open the dashboard. Yeah, you can see the dashboard has been opened and uh, you can have use the favor get whole URL. Yeah, that's for today's demo one. And the coming demo will be demo two for how do we configure all this, you know, dashboard into the server portal. That's a different approach. And uh, yeah, remember, you can subscribe my learning channel. You will learn a lot of information as you want.